So what we did was we put them into these three buckets, the recommendations. Individual dignity was the first, which sounds kind of squishy, I know that, but it, it was an important principle for us to frame all of our recommendations around consent, around when they should ask you if it's okay to use data in a project, which basically we said was anytime it goes outside of what you would reasonably expect. This is a big deal because Fitbit signed on to this. They agreed to this and they're a huge, you know, they're a market leader. So this resonates and this is part of was sort of the innovation that we were trying to do in advocacy. The second bucket was data stewardship. And this was an important frame because we want companies in this space to see themselves as stewards of your data. They aren't just sort of data repositories, they're not silos, right? But they are active participants in this conversation that we're having globally about health, about wellness, about the Internet of Things. So we said, you are a steward of this data and that means you have responsibilities. Part of those responsibilities are things like al allowing data access for people. Now that sounds counterintuitive if you're a privacy advocate, we don't always talk about access. But in the health space, if you're a steward and we know that you can protect data well, you also need to make it available to people. You also need to help them facilitate their own health, right? Empower them, that's a part of empowerment. We also said that they needed to have really formal policies so that the, the practices that the researchers were doing were sustainable. So we developed rubrics to help the researchers make decisions. We called them pivot points. So when you're going through a project, if you have a question, is, is this an ethical question? Is this a privacy question? How do I gauge this? We tried to help them come up with a rubric for that decision making. And finally, we looked at the bucket of social good. And, and this ties all together. But again, the idea is you're not a data silo. You're part of this conversation. And that means making sure that your data sets are representative. 